Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, maybe had some picnic plans over the weekend. Unfortunately, just with all the heavy rain, didn't really set up for out. the nicest evenings or afternoons. Either way you slice it, we looked at a decent amount of rain both Saturday and Sunday. I saw close to about an inch and a quarter on Saturday. We saw three quarters up towards uh, or down, down south, I should say, here in Columbus from northern Clintonville at about 7.77 inches of rain. One and a quarter on Sunday, so a solid two and a half inches of rain across much of Franklin County. What we saw in just a few hundredths of an inch to start the day today. Here's a look at just the past 24 hours looking at radar estimated rainfall totals. And you can see just over the past 24 hours, widespread one to two inches across much of the area. You can see some of those brighter colors, those brighter greens. That's going to be showing some possible amounts anywhere from two to three inches of rainfall and not as much to the east. But we are looking at more rain that's moving in from southwestern Ohio. That's been moving through the tri-state area. The good news is a lot of this is weakening, but we're still going to be just seeing the same areas dealing with rain, kind of like what we saw over the weekend as well. We call that training with showers and thunderstorms. It's just copious amounts of moisture that just continues to funnel in areas with just seeing rain after rain, much like how the weekend started for us on Saturday. That was coming in from the northwest. Now it's coming from the southwest, but we will see this front slowly but surely move through heading into the day today. Still looking at some moderate to heavy rain, though, closer to central Ohio, just south into southern Pickaway County. This will likely move over towards Circleville within the next half hour, and you can see some pockets of some heavy rain there. Uh, seeing some light to moderate rain and some pockets down towards Chillicothe. That's going to continue to move to the north and east this morning. So keep the umbrella gear, umbrella and rain gear handy. Temperatures are also going to be staying on the mild side for us this morning. Not going to see a whole lot of, you know, temperatures well into the upper 80s for us today. So it will be a cooler start, but still very humid out there. And we're really not going to catch a break from the humidity heading into this week. But as far as the rain, that'll continue to move out to the south and east heading into the early afternoon, where it'll turn a bit more spotty, isolated for us. And then for the remainder of the day, things will be pretty calm and actually kind of nice to see, you know, some of the sunshine shine and not worrying about rain to come in over the next day. But not only are we going to be looking at some clearing into the overnight above, it will be clear, but near the surface with the amount of rainfall that we've seen over the past couple of days and with the setup that we could be looking at some patchy fog, certainly not out of the question as we head into your Tuesday morning. So something to keep an eye out there. So we got the rain this morning. We got the fog tomorrow morning. It's going to be pretty warm heading into tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Most of the fog will be lifted by around 9, 10 o'clock. And then after that, heading into the midweek, we're looking at some of the early outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center for the potential for severe weather heading into the afternoon and evening for us on Wednesday. So we will be watching our next front come through. It's not going to be slow going like what all these storms were over the weekend for us, but we're also going to be dealing with the potential for a bit more of a punch within some of these storms. So getting an early look at that, showing most of the activity moving through in the second half of the day for us on Wednesday and then clearing out as we head into your Thursday. So looking at your seven day forecast, we're going to be talking about the potential for some high heat and humidity through much of the work week. Really not going to see a break from that, but we will see a break from some of that heavy rain, which will be nice to see as we head into the rest of the day. Then going into the upcoming weekend, staying hot and humid out with a mix of sun and clouds. We're going to continue to see temperatures stay pretty much in the mid to upper 80s, so staying pretty hot for the dog days of summer. And it looks like things are going to be looking pretty nice as we head into the end of the week going into the weekend.